Hello, Kenny Evans here, another car video. And the title of this video is Words a Woman Shouldn't Say to a Guy. But before I get into that, I'm going to let you guys know this channel is all about helping both men and women be the best they can be in all aspects of their lives. It's dating and relationships, health, wealth, and mindset. I want to help you guys be the best versions of yourself. Thank you for joining. And when it comes to the new people here, welcome. Most of the people who've been around for a while, welcome. If you have not done so already, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. And if you like my videos or if you just want to support me, Hit that like button. I definitely appreciate it. Let's get back to the topic at hand. <laughs> Words a woman shouldn't say to a guy. So there's just certain words in certain contexts. Women say words that show they are not interested. One. Or they really just don't respect you. Two. Or they're just flat out lying to you. Three. And these are certain words and phrases you should look out for that should give you a little bit of a, a pause when you hear them from a woman, uh, specifically if you are uh, interested in her and she knows you're interested in her or you're wanting to date her or you are dating her, you know, so very, very, very important that you you listen to these words and phrases and your antenna should go up when you hear them and you should act accordingly. Number one, when a woman says aww to you after you've said or done something to her. So that is automatically showing she is not sexually attracted to you at all. You know, she does not find you sexually appealing. And in fact, she actually sees you more like a kid. That's when women say aww, like, you know, to babies, aww, baby crawls, try to stand up and falls, like aww. You know, you don't want to be associated with that when it comes to someone, uh, you know, a woman you're sexually attracted to. That is a huge no-no. And you should do whatever you can to reverse her sexual, you know, um, uh, appeal for you. Because if you keep on going down that path, you're only going to end up in the friend zone. Period. Point. Blank. So, awe is a huge word to look out for. If a woman says that to you, and you gotta you gotta reverse that, get her mind thinking sex when it comes to you, not being like a you know a baby or something. But uh, number two is kind of relative as well, and I do gotta I forgot to mention I have four plus a bonus at the end. Stay till the end to get the bonus. Ah, but yes, number two. When a woman says that's cute after you've said something or done something to her again it's just a sign of disrespect she's not very sexually attracted to you she sees you more like a like a child or someone who she has to take care of you know that's cute you know even if she's thinking you know it's a she's a way of describing her attraction to you oh he's kind of cute i mean it's cool but it's like you rather be called handsome, you rather be called, um, you know, sexy, fine, you know, attractive, cute. Like, I understand it is a compliment, but it's like it's just the bare minimum, and that's cute, even worse because it's like it's almost like she's patro patronizing you, you know what I mean? And she doesn't really respect you, but it's like, oh, it's kind of like another version of all, you know. It's like that you got to change that and you want to get her again. You want her to be thinking sex when it comes to you. So you want her to, you got to crank up the sex appeal a little bit and get her thinking sexual thoughts and thinking about getting, being sexual with you. Yeah. Because you don't want to, again, you don't want to go down that path because it'll lead to the friend zone. Now we got number three, number three, number three. So number three is if she says, 
I've never done that before. No, I've never done this before. The problem with that is, is no, it's not a big deal. But again, more than likely, it's a lie. And that's the problem. Most guys who have any sort of sense when it comes to girls um, and getting girls sexually, they'll see that as a lie. You know, what a woman should say is, um, I'm new to this. You know, I'm new to this. Or this is my, you know, my first time. Something of the such. As opposed to I've never done it because it comes off as a lie. Even if she hasn't done it again. Let us say I'm new to this or it's my first time. You know, as opposed to I've never. It's just the wording is very powerful. Because now a guy who, who's who's hip to women, they're going to think she's lying. And they're going to, you know, play along, but they're going to still move forward. You know, and, they, and they're going to convert that. If they got the game, of course. You know what I mean? So, very, 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 very important to look out for. But yes, if you're still here, I appreciate it. And I just want to let you guys, or I'm going to you know, ask that you just subscribe. If you're enjoying the content. Uh, but more than likely, if you're here, you are. And I just ask you subscribe, hit that notification button. Please and thank you. And let's get back to the video. All right. So the fourth thing she uh, shouldn't say, a woman shouldn't say to a guy is, I'm not that type of girl. Again, it comes off as a lie. You know what I mean? In a guy who gets girls mind. What she should say is, hey, you know, I don't normally do that. Or, you know, um, it's my first time doing it. Or I'm new to this. Because, it was, okay, now we understand where you're coming from. As opposed to, oh, I'm not that type of girl. Because it comes off as, yeah, not that type of girl with you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it comes off as a lie because we know you've done it with other guys or, or you will be, um, you would do it with other guys. You know, so it's very important that you keep that in mind and understand if a woman says she's not that type of girl, more than likely she is lying and she's just not that sexually attracted to you. As well as if she says, hey, I've never done this before. Even though it, usually when she's saying that, that means she, you guys are in the act and you're about to do it. So maybe not. not that, in that case, she's not lying. But it, it is a lie. It is, it's not a lie in terms of the fact that um, she is not sexually attracted to you. But it's a lie that she more than likely has done it before. You know. But yeah. I mean, it's all good in terms of... Um, you know, when she says, hey, I'm not that type of girl, you just have to uh, be able to convert that. I mean, that's pretty much it, being able to convert it. Uh, yes, 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 those are the four. We got the bonus here. We got the bonus. <laughs> and the bonus is when she says, you are my first. You know. There's a difference between when a woman says, you are my first, and this is my first time. You know, again, you are my first, could come off as a lie. It's just like saying, you know, I'm not that type of girl. You know, you're, so when she says, you're my first, it's almost like she's trying to project purity to, to you. You know what I mean? You know, uh, when it comes to virginity, or... Um, first time doing this kind of thing as opposed to it's my first time she's owning it as opposed she's projecting it onto you she's trying to project an image to you and that's the reason that that's that's there's so that is something bad when she says it wording is very important guys who understand girls who understand game they listen to a woman's words in the words she doesn't say you know, and that's the reason you're my first is very powerful because more than likely, again, it is a lie and you're not her first, but she wants to project purity onto you, you know? So those are the, the words and I'm, trust me, there's many more, but those are the main ones to look out for. A woman should not say to a guy, um, when specifically, and there's a caveat when she's dating or in a relationship or. You know, um, you know, uh, 
really interested in or just kind of dealing with. And if you are interested in her, those are words you definitely want to pay attention to and convert if you do hear them. So, yes, uh, let me know what you thought about the video. If you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. Um, let me know if you if you like my list. Let me know if you think I was spot on. Let me know, uh, you know, phrases or words that you feel like I missed. You know, I mean, I appreciate it. Again, uh, this channel is for you guys. I made this channel for you guys, help you both men and women be the best you can be in all aspects of your life, health, wealth, dating, relationship, mindset. Let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. You know what I mean? Again, I want to help you guys be the best you can be, you know, in all aspects of your life. Of course, if, if you found value in the video, you can donate. I appreciate all little bit of donations count. Thank you in advance. I hope to see you guys next week. Bam. And always remember, the strongest man is the happiest man.